Hey guys. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Hi, Tori. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> Have a brush thief. <laughs> It's a baby, there's a brush thief. How y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Happy wonderful Wednesday. Gaga Green. Green must be in the Oz. Good day. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Gonna add hug to my name so Dee Dee can send me. <laughs> Andrew. I send happy mail out. I do send happy mail out to my subbies. I do. Do you, do you want some happy mail? I'll send you an art card or something, Andrew. Here, email me. Where, Andrew? <laughs> So, um, let's see. What else? Uh, hi, Pacola. How you doing, girl? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting over. She doesn't have the virus. <laughs> I always have to say that. Hey, Zane, Riri, uh, Coloring K, Jay Weber. Who else? Um, who else? Um, I didn't see if Green said they were in Australia. So, yeah. You want to play with that in the paper? Well, it's in the paper. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. <laughs> And now she wants to lay on my paper. On the art scroll. I thought we'd work on the art scroll. I, I put down bees, but maybe we'll do a bee. Maybe we'll do whatever, you know, y'all request an animal or something. Oh, okay. South Australia. Okay. Hi from California. Lawanda. Uh, Debbie the Doodler. Hey, Mark. How you doing? You love the art scroll? Yeah. Hi, Zeely. How the peep the peeps? <laughs> Zeely, the peeps. So let's see. Carrie Ann. <clears throat> so yeah, I got my hot coffee. And I got my cranberry juice. So I have hot and cold to keep my voice going. Oh, you're on the other account again? Okay. Well, it still shows up as your name, Mark. So I still see your... Yes, I know, Andrew, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so if y'all don't know, I come on. My name's Dee Dee. I come on every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. But I usually come on about 8.30 or so to say good morning to everybody. So if you want to get right into the project, just slide that little bar until you get to the project. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Mama Four. And then, um, yeah, so I thought we'd paint on the art scroll today, which all the art scroll is, is a roll of shipping paper. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a roll of shipping paper. So, and when I roll it out, we'll readjust the light. Right now, the light's uh, trying to uh, focus on white cat here. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so thanks everybody for being here. Hi, Anne. Thanks for the thumbs up already. Hi, Sue. Anybody else popping in? So we do a little of everything here. We paint, we draw, we ink, we sketch, we color book. We, um, you know, we do a little bit of everything. Do a little of everything and uh, just to be have a creative have a uh, creative couple of days a week and um, I'm I like to encourage people to try things 
I don't consider myself a teacher. That doesn't mean you can't learn anything, but I'm more of a, an encourager to get you started, try things, try new supplies, read new books. I love my books, not just art books, but um, all books. I love to read. I've always loved to read. So sometimes we just do a rabbit trail and we'll go off with books. <laughs> yes, we do have a ball, don't we, Riri? Uh, let's see, Daniela. Who else? Uh, I said hi, Darla, Lisa. I like to say hi to as many people as I can catch when they come in. So, yeah, baby girl, you're getting a little bit of fur on my paper there. Let's brush that off. And I am in a squeaky chair, but uh, it's comfortable, so I don't care if it squeaks. And I sit on my foot a lot, so it falls asleep. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carol. Yeah, to learn something. Yeah, we do have fun. So feel free to interact with each other. You know, you can talk about your own channels and classes you're taking and all that. I mean, you know, don't spam. Uh, you know, be a part of the group. Talk, talk to other people. Be a part. And... Um, so, uh, yes, I love Lena's channel. I saw somebody says Lena. Yes, Lena is a hoot. We love our Lena. <laughs> That's Miss Linux 2010. She is a hoot. I haven't watched a recording from uh, Tuesday, yesterday. Yeah, I haven't watched that one yet. I, have, I usually get out on errands on Tuesday. Uh, can you use pastel pens on that paper? Yeah, uh, pastel pens. Or pastel pencils. I don't know what a pastel pen is. Pastel pencil, Alsa? That's probably what you meant. Yeah, you can use pastels on this paper. It's got a tooth to it. It's a toothy paper. I don't care for pastels. I'll use Conti crayons, you know, little Conti crayons to sketch with. The only pastels I really enjoy working with are pan pastels. Pan pastels are... Um, Pan pastels are not dry and chalky. I don't like dry and chalky, but that's just me. There's Miss Lena. Hey, Miss Lena. Lena is a hoot. I'm sure she cracked everybody up yesterday. I'm going to have to go watch her recording. Don't forget, guys, uh, Janet's not going to be here today because she uh, is, you know, she's got an appointment with the rat. And that, and when I say that, I don't mean like she has an appointment with a rat. The rat has an appointment. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's her, her rat, not a rat. <laughs> uh, Robert, yeah. Uh, let's see. That's okay, Asa. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the only thing about this paper, now, I like to use it for sketching. I like to sketch and doodle and draw and paint. In the last, um, let me get these. I got these new brushes. I don't want them torn up, please, baby. Please, baby girl, let's don't tear these up. I got these new Japanese brushes, and I haven't used them yet, so I don't want her to use them yet either. <laughs> but look at that nice, sharp point. So, uh, yeah, let's put those away over here where she can't get them. Yes, baby girl, here, you play with this one. Play with this one or these. Play with those. So the last time we were on the scroll, we did a couple things. We did Miss Lena's Road. We did a road runner for Miss Lena which I did fold up and send to her. Hopefully it gets to Denmark. Miss Lena is in Denmark. Hopefully it gets to her in Denmark. So I'm unrolling this here. But the last two times we did the Roadrunner. Then we also did our Vulture. <laughs> and it is a little tricky. I have to, I'll back out some. Let's back out some now. Because um, we are on a big scroll. We're going to be on a big art scroll, right? And um, so, you know, it's quite, uh, takes up the desk. But we did a uh, vulture. We did a vulture taking care of those murder bees. See, there's one. He's got his nail through. He's got one of his claws through one of those murder bees. If y'all don't know the story about the murder bees that are... Um, I guess they start, they're from overseas, and now they're coming into Seattle. They, I guess they've been here a while, or no, I shouldn't say Seattle, Washington State somewhere. So anyway, they had a story about the, <laughs> about the bees. So we did that last, um, yeah. 
<laughs> Let's see what uh, Malibu does under there. And uh, <laughs> how do your kittens manage us? Um, you know, we don't we don't have them like real often. They they stay pretty close to us, and they you know or they'll go under the bed or something. <laughs> Are you having fun in there, Malibu? Don't tear it up now. Don't tear it up. She's just having fun. And then uh, the time before that on the scroll, we did this dog on the scroll. And, I, and I've shown y'all a bunch of, I cut them out after the fact because I used to keep them all in the scroll, all rolled up in the scroll. And then it was too hard to find anything. I'd have to unroll the whole scroll. I'd have to unroll the whole scroll to find anything. So um, this was one we did time before. And I just asked y'all what kind of animal you want to draw. I look up a couple of references and we just sketch it out with a Conti crayon. And then we paint with acrylic. It's all done with acrylic craft paint. Maybe a little Posca, you know, a little pencil maybe in the eyes. So that's what we've done in the last two art scrolls. Uh, videos. Hi, G. How you doing? G's been working on uh, some uh, projects over on her channel. I think it's a group, uh, it's a, a collab thing or a challenge. I don't remember what the name of it is. Um, let's see. Linda, Sarah. Hi, everyone. Um, Sarah's Crafty Aussie. So we have a lot, we get a lot of people from Oz. Hope y'all are doing well down there. Let's see. Karina. I said hi to Lydia. Hi, Bridget. Oh, Bridgeton. Sorry. Hi, Bridgeton. Um, yeah. So thanks everybody for being here. So I'll unroll a piece of the uh paper. And and again, guys, this is just shipping paper. It's good for doing this kind of fun stuff on. I wouldn't do a I'm sure it's not acid free or anything like that. You know, I do, I use my Strathmore uh, paper for portraits. You know, this is just for us to have fun with, <laughs> have fun and sketch and paint. And um, yeah, so something, I thought of, it was either this or color book today. And I said, well, yeah, I kind of feel like doing this. It's kind of a gray, drizzly day today. So I said, let's do something big and bold and fun. Let's see. Uh, here comes Oliver. And he's probably going to want to jump up here. I don't want him to get into a big uh, tussle up here because he doesn't know his sister's under there. This might this might not end well. Let me put my arm over here so they can't go past here because then they'll go into my cords and disconnect me. <laughs> so there's Oliver coming and go, is my sister in there? But she's, she goes, get away from me. This is my hiding place. This is my hiding place. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I got my arm right here so they can't go past because uh, the cords, the cords are right over here. So let's see. So y'all be thinking of something you might want to draw uh, and paint today. I'm going to start with some bees just because you know, to be or not to be. <laughs> so we're going to do, uh, you know, I did uh, last month, I did uh, a bees on a, you know, just a bristle board. There they go. Now they're going. Oh, no, he's going to lay over there. She's had enough. So anyway, uh, and that was my thank you for everybody last month that supported the channel. And uh, let me see, I got one sitting up here. So this was last month's thank you was this B that we did on stream. And, um, and it was a toss up between doing it on white or doing it on uh, the brown paper, just because I like painting on the brown paper. So we'll, we're going to do that today. All right. So any questions, anything going on? The two astronauts. Hmm, I don't know what the, oh yeah, you mean the, the two astronauts taken off today? Has it been decided yet? Riri, I have done a hummingbird on this paper before. I, I've shown it. I don't, I don't think I could put my hand on it right now. 
Oh, thank you, Miss Lena. Miss Lena, Roadrunner Shipping Support. Oh, my gosh. Miss Lena, you just have to do that. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, and I, I don't know what it's called. What's your, what's your, um, uh, is it starts with a D, I think. Your, your um, currency, Miss Lena. Thank you for the $50 um, dollar super chat in your, it's not, I want to say draconian, but that's not it. What is your currency in Denmark called, Miss Lena? Thank you so much. And you did not have to say Roadrunner shipping support. I just hope it gets there. I hope you're all getting your mail now. Are you getting your mail now, Miss Lena? Uh, a platypus, Fernando on a bee. <laughs> oh my God. A horse. I don't think, think I've done a horse on the show, I mean. Um, thank you so much, Lena. That is so sweet. I'm gonna write you down now. I'm gonna send you some more some more mail. And uh and hopefully you'll be getting your mail in Denmark. Danish kroner. Okay, let me write that down because I always forget. I'm gonna start it with the Dutch. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not a bagel currency. <laughs> Ms. Lena goes, Danish Kroner, and it's not bagel currency. That has to go in the wingnut book. That has to, Lena. Okay, Lena, wait a minute. If y'all don't know what the wingnut book is. Okay, she said Danish, Danish currency, which is the uh, Danish Kroner. Is not. How did she say it? Bagel currency. <laughs> Good one. Okay, so that's got to go in the wing nut book. And so the wing nuts, when anybody says anything real uh, quippy, you know, real, real, just real uh, funny and quippy. So we have the wing nut book here, as you can see. <laughs> We've had a lot of funny, funny remarks, uh, funny remarks here. So I am going to put Miss Lena's Danish currency is a Danish kroner. It's not bagel currency. So we'll just find it. And I just smack it in there anywhere. So you can see we have hundreds of them in here. But anyway, it's the wing nut book because, you know, we're all a bunch of wing nuts. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good one, Lena. So thank you so much. That was very thoughtful of you. And uh, hopefully your um, your mail will be resumed soon. Um, thank you, Pacola. Yes, the wing nut. That's a wing nut book, Riri. <laughs> okay, so Anne is saying the launch is a go for today. Okay, so I saw something on the news this morning about uh, today's launch depending on the weather in Florida, which, you know, it's like random thunderstorms here and there, kind of like it is in Georgia. And uh, now you got to stay over there, baby. You can't go past my hand. You can't go over to the cords. I'll have to put you on the floor. And um, now he wants a turn in the paper. Um, smack and dragon. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh finding killer bees when looking for honey. Look at you. You got a whole story, Susie. That's the kind of stuff y'all need to write down in your Society of Idea Collector notebook. If y'all don't haven't uh, watched any Society of Idea Collector videos, they're in, they're, they have their own playlist. Thanks to Pacola, they have their own playlist. But Pacola actually went and dug them all out for me to make a playlist. I don't know how many there are. 40, 50. I don't know. We're, we're, we have something like 2,000 videos. And um, when they started doing the don't target your ads toward kids, which I mean, don't target your videos toward kids because of the ads. Um, of course, we don't do that here. And this is an adult channel. So just saying we're not targeting any children. So um, I took down well, I, I made private probably about 50 videos that could be um, seen as, you know, directed toward kids, which they're not. And then I also uh, put adult coloring books in all my color book videos because those aren't directed toward kids either. So yeah, Winnie the Pooh finds killer honeybees when looking for honey. 
I don't think I've ever drawn Winnie the Pooh. Now, that's the other thing about, you know, you got to be careful with copyright stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like a, I don't know, a new rule every day. <laughs> oh, they have the new space who's from the Space Force. What is it? Space Force X? I forget all the names of the, the new stuff, but yeah. I'm keeping my hand here, guys, so he doesn't go past and get into the cords. Because then we're well, then we're uh, disconnected. He wants to pay. Yeah. Hi, Nanamo. Happy Kitty Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm going to move him off the table. And we are, I'll probably have to close the door because they're going to want to keep jumping up here. And when I'm painting, inking, or pan pastelling, we don't want them in that. This is all dry right here, but this is, you know, I work in, I work in these uh, coffee lids. Space Dragon, is that what it is? Oh, you want me to draw space? I was going to say, is that what they're calling the astronauts now? Space Dragons? It wouldn't put it past, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, Ely. <laughs> Um, so yeah, <laughs> but anyway, okay, so I am going to move him, baby, you get here, how about if I throw one on the floor for you, here, look, there you go, he's saying, I'm not falling for that, <laughs> I'm not falling for that, oh my gosh, look at him, he does not want to, does not want to get up, get all brushes all over the floor here. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I did do my, uh, I'm still working on my inking of the skulls that are in space that are going to have an astronaut in them. I don't know if I have it handy. Let's see. I, I can't get up with him here. No, 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 baby. I don't want you choking on that. Let's get, let's get out. Um, I, I have to really watch it when the cats are up here because if they run through over there, all my cords, my microphone, my lights, my my lappy plug, everything's over there, and they will disconnect us very quickly. So, um, hi, Hut. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And I can't wait to see your reviews on the books, on the comic books. So I sent Hut a little thank you for having him on my show. If y'all did not see... Hut showed the little uh, happy mail. That's what we call it. Happy mail that I sent him. Um, he did a video on his channel. That, so thank you, Hut. You didn't have to do that, but that was nice. I, I, I do look forward to seeing your reviews of the comics. Um, I, I did finish reading all of them before I sent them to you. So I read all four of them. And I'm not going to say which, which ones I liked, which ones I didn't. I'm not going to be, a, I'm not going to be a comic book influencer like that. So anyway, uh, yeah. So if you want to see uh, comic book reviews and Hutt, hopefully we'll be, you know, doing some drawings soon and um, yeah, follow him on Twitter. Let's see what else. Um, you're welcome. Hi, White Wolf. Re I said hi to Riri. It's happened before. Um... So, yeah, we're going to draw on the art scroll today, but I'm going to have to put the cats out. As you can see, they're not going to leave us alone. Now they wants to chew up on the paper. How about if I tear you off a piece to play with? How about if I cut you off a piece? Here, now roll it up in a ball. Move your little paws. Move your little paws. And... How about if I... Would you like to play with that? Okay, I'll give you this out here in the hall. Come on. Come on, baby. You got to go out. Come on. I'll throw this out here for you so you can go to bed. There you go. All right. <laughs> we won't get anything done. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to roll out a piece of the paper here. Let's roll it this way. This is a shorter one. I've got a long, uh, I've got a wider one of these um, rolls, and this is the this is the narrower one. So I'm gonna go with the narrower one. Look, <laughs> oh my gosh! And we're gonna tape a piece of this down, and we'll do a couple different things, and we'll just keep cutting, cutting and taping down. All right, so let's get some painters tape. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, 
So let's see. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. I won't think you're yelling at me. Um, if you're not talking to me, don't put it in caps because then I think, oh, she's talking or he's talking to me, and then I don't know what y'all are talking about. So I'm just going to tape this down, and uh, we're going to sketch out. I'm going to start with a bumblebee just because it's something. I like bees. All right, let's see if I can get my camera straight there. Get the lighting. And it's, it's going to be kind of far away at first because I want to draw big. I like to draw big. Hi, Lauren. Molly. Anybody else I might have missed coming in? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Okay. So I did uh, found about four pages of bees. Um, I got my iPad here for some references. All right, and I did pull out a few things of black, white. Let's see, there's some white. So I'm just going to put out some paint here. I hope it's the lighting. How's the lighting look? Are we good on the lighting? Pecola, what do you think? Is it good? Is it too Is it too flashed out? Maybe it is a little flashed out. Let's turn the light down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to put out some white paint. Some black paint, a couple of yellows. I'm not sure what yellows. And then we'll, we're just going to sketch out. We're going to sketch out with a Conti crayon. Like we always do. Which which yellow do I like? Let's see. I kind of like this darker. Oh, let, me look, let me look at some bees here. Oh, let's see. Kind of like. Uh, let's start with this. Maybe the side view of a bee. And I like this yellow better. A little bit of. Okay, all right, so we'll just start with this. We'll see how it goes. And y'all be thinking of uh, something else. Oh, it looks crooked. Um, well, y'all be thinking of something else y'all might want drawn after this. Because we're going to go big. We're going to go big. Like, that's what we like to do on the art scroll. So let's just start with a nice big B. Let's start with a nice big B here. And then we'll put, we'll put details. I can't see his little eyes very well. Let's see. Okay, this bracelet's got to go. I usually I usually get one bracelet that wants to scrub on the... Uh, <clears throat> these little legs here. I'm going to see a little bit of eye over there. Not much. And then their little mandalas. Is that what they're called? Those, uh, they're, they're feelers. Mandalas? Is that what it is? Yeah. Let's see here. Let me go right in here. Then the big fat part there. And then the wings. And I don't want it off the edge. I don't want the wings off the edge. And the other wing is back there. Okay, and then we got another piece of the part of the yellow body there. Piece of the black body here. <clears throat> space unicorn. <laughs> Y'all are all on the space thing today because of the 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 takeoff or whatever. Let's do a nice big fat B here. And then the yellow's there. And then we've got the other legs. Let's see. I, I'm just putting his wings kind of where I want them. That's not necessarily where they are. But hey, I can draw them every, anywhere I want, right? I, it's my drawing. Okay, then we got the, the legs again. The, the legs are in three parts. And they're like their bodies are in three parts. Their little legs look like they're in three parts. And then their little, it looks like they have little toes. <laughs> looks like they have little, almost like little chicken feet. <laughs> they look like little chicken feet. Okay. And then the, uh, let's see, then we'll have another, like, I don't want it to interfere. I'm going to put his legs somewhere else over here because I don't want it to interfere with his little mandibles. Man mandibles? Mandibles? And the other leg might be over there. And then you won't see the other one. Something like this. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want that a little bit tighter there. All right. So there's our... 
needs to be a little fat. He needs a little fatter butt. There we go. That's better. Uh, uh, yeah, I gotta speak English. Who uh, I can't even read your name. You gotta speak English here. Yeah, gotta speak English. Thanks, Pacoa. All right, so let's see. Oh, oh, you're buying a car, Muffy. You're lurking. Why you're watching while you're buying a car? Oh my gosh, don't get distracted, girl. This is more important than buying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, <laughs> let's see here. So let's get let's get a nice scruffy brush. Look at that brush. That's nice and scruffy. Look at that. It's all it's all scruffy. Oh, there we go. Look at that nice scruffy brush. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Let's start the black. Let's just start the black. Now, his eye, well, I should probably do a little bit something a little neater for the eye because that's going to be a little crisper here. Let's get his eyeball in here. And then we will um, we will go in there and put highlights and everything on the eye. Okay, so let's just kind of block that in a little. We'll just block that in. Okay. <clears throat> Why is there a car parked across my street? That always makes me nervous. It's like there's nothing over there. Are you trying to use my Wi-Fi or something, mister, or whoever you are? And I got mail out there. I don't like that. Wait, I'm going to go make my presence known. I don't like this. Hang on. I'm going to go make my presence known to this car. Well, actually, it's a truck. Hang on. He's cutting down branches overhanging the neighbor's fence. I hope he was hired to do that. <laughs> I mean, I just went out and saw him. He's got like a like a machete or something cutting down overhanging branches from the neighbor's house. So I'm hoping he was hired to do that. Sorry for the little, I got to, you know, check out what's going on around my house. Okay, so I went out in the drizzle. I went out in the drizzle to... Uh, see all right so he's got uh fuzz you know he's fuzzy so we're gonna make him fuzzy here that's why it's a nice um uh nice to have a what do you call it brush scruffy brush And uh, this this uh, Conti crayon uh, pastel thing, it'll erase. So I can just erase it, right? So, oh, what happened to Gaga? I missed something. Oh, your internet's bad? I don't know. I hate when that happens. So if y'all didn't see, this was one of the animals that we did a couple weeks ago. We did this dog. And again, I just, um, we just do the same thing we're doing here. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. We just pay. It's just, it's just shipping paper, <laughs> right? Oh, and I did go down, and um, the cat has totally torn up that paper that I gave him. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little scruff. So anyway, um, Lena, if y'all haven't watched Lena, she will do stuff like this where she'll just go for it too. But her, her cartoon character that she's invented is hilarious. I don't know if she showed, like I said, I didn't see Lena's show yesterday yet, the recording. So I still have to watch her recording from um, yesterday. 
but she invented this cartoon character. I don't know. I don't think she has it posted anywhere where I could show it to you, but she did it on her video. She is hilarious. The character and Lena both. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of just scruffing in some dry brush. Beefer. Is it is that what it's called? Beefer? <laughs> Beefer. <laughs> Beefer. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what be um, what it would call be called, but we're gonna call it be fur. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, what is everybody else working on? Anybody else working on anything? fun let's see we gotta get some yellow in there somewhere um, i think i should just go let's see i think the yellow should come up come right in there i think and then we'll just have the black coming up to around this area let's see can i i can never look at Hans i know <laughs> Lydia, right? You'll never look at Hans Christian Andersen again if you um, if you've seen Lena's <laughs> video on that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. So yeah, one of the things from my window up here above the garage is I can see the street. So I can see anything going on in my yard, my front yard, my front street. So that's why when I see a truck or car parked right across my street, because there's just a fence line across the street. There's just a fence line across the street, my neighbor's fence line. So it's like, why do you park right there? You know, but apparently it's... Uh, Apparently, it's because, uh, let's see, I think I need this a little fatter. There's, uh, they're cutting down, and like I said, I hope that the neighbors hired them because they're cutting down their, their bushes over there. <clears throat> so, your treadmill walking, Darla, good for you. I'm Melinda. You're working in your composition books, Riri's decoupaging everything. <laughs> Cheryl is working on coffee. Uh, Fritchie, Fritchie, trying to start the 365 days of creating something every day. Oh my gosh, is that a is that a hashtag? Is that over on IG, Fritchie? Is that? Um, I mean, I've seen books on 365 days of creating things, but I didn't know if there was a, a new thing going around. Uh, and who's doing the iCAD, the index card a day? Janet had mentioned doing it, but I haven't heard anything from that. Hi, 3G. Uh, hope to be able to participate in the iCAD this year, Linda. Okay, Lydia, yeah. Uh, I don't know who all is doing uh, iCAD. Hi, Azure. Kathy H. You got done with your exercise bike? Yeah, I got I to gotta keep up with my walking. Yeah. So there's a, a start to our B. Learning, learn to draw. Oh, it's a learn to draw. Okay, so it's the book, and you're doing that. Okay, I think I have that book. 365 things to draw, or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. And uh, is ever is it like are y'all following the book's prompts? Fritchie, are y'all following what the book says to draw every day? Is that how it works? I'll have to look up and see if there's an IG hashtag. And, um, okay, Julie Topaz, good morning. Happy, wonderful Wednesday. And she says, I am challenging Jan. Oh, you are doing it and you're challenging Jan. Okay, let me clean my brush here. Okay. Okay, let me get a baby wipe so I can soak out any excess moisture. All righty. <clears throat> Let's see. 
working and making cheese toast. <laughs> Shelly. Oh, <laughs> okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some white down first because this is brown paper. And the yellow will not look vibrant on the brown paper because yellow is very translucent. So I'm going to put a coat of white down just to have the, the base for the yellow to go on top of. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I don't want to take all day on each one of these. I kind of like to speed through them. It's more for keeping your hand busy, you know, getting, you know, uh, trying to, you know, just sketch and draw. And, and it, if y'all have never drawn big, you need to do that at some point. There's something about freeing, like when, um, you know, I've done, gone to life class drawings. I like to do big, big paper huge paper to do because then you're on you're using your whole arm and you're drawing bodies really big so you know that's one nice thing and this this paper is for like it's like three four dollars for a whole roll of shipping paper and it is a little aggravating you have to you have to tape it down because it is what it does want to roll right but uh it's just great for practicing on it's great for practicing hi claire hi holly d Oh, you got your B picture. Good, Holly. Okay. Where's the best place to find this? Oh, um, you can get it at like Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any UPS store, <laughs> any place that has shipping. It's usually with the shipping supplies, with the, you know, the packing tape, um, you know, that kind of stuff. It's usually all rolls of it. And you get this is the narrower of the two. You can get one that's wider than this. Like that other piece that I showed you with the, look, I'll show you how wide this is. From the uh, vulture, look how much wider this one is. See? So, yeah. All right, so let's see. Um... I don't want to really do the wings. I want to do the wings kind of like on top of, although this wing back here, I could probably kind of block in because it's uh, not translucent to any anything. It's kind of behind there. So we'll just kind of do this. Just kind of block it in there. So yeah, I think the astronauts take off like at, 4.30 Eastern or something like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and get back in the little black here. Let's do some little legs here. And they're fuzzy too, so. They have these little joints, you know, little jointed areas. And then, and like I said, they, they look like they have little chicken feet. <laughs> oh. We'll do one over there. We'll do one right here. Uh, that. And then this one. These are going to be a little fatter because they're closer to us. And this is kind of tucked up in there. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Storming and raining like crazy here. Oh no! I hope um, I hope Janet hasn't. They have their appointment today. I hope they're not having to drive in that crazy weather. Y'all stay safe, Janet. I know you can't hear me, but stay safe. Okay, let's see. Something like that. And then let me get another brush for the. Oh. Something like that. Maybe this one needs to be a little fatter. And then the little feet, I'm telling you, they look like little chicken feet. <laughs> little chicken feet. When they're close up, very tiny, but yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let me clean out the brushes again. All right, now we can go in there with the yellow. <clears throat> Home base, something my paper that decorates with. Yeah, it's you, you can really any place that has shipping supplies. If you're talking about this paper, it's any place that has shipping supplies. So y'all be thinking of what we want to do next after we do the B. Don't put it in right now because I'm not looking. <laughs> but just be thinking about it, and I'll when a minute I'll ask y'all what you'd like to. Um, all right, I got a little bit of black on there. Let me get a clean that off. I want some shadow in there, but not yet. <clears throat> so, what do y'all been? Um, has anybody been watching? Oh, I gotta tell y'all this. I've got Hubster who loves, you know, he loves old movies, and we have cable, right? We have cables. So we got all kinds of. Uh, we have all kinds of uh, movies and stuff on cable. But um, my daughter's always tell me, get Netflix, get Netflix. Well, now that I got, what I since I got my new computer, I said, uh, uh, which I'm not on, by the way. <laughs> still, I'm still on Lappy while I'm streaming because I don't know what that issue is. But anyway, so, um, of course, I did buy it for multiple devices so we can watch it on any device we want. So I bought him Netflix. And uh, so <laughs> I said, well, so... So I, I went, I set it up on the smart TV downstairs and then I, I, you know, of course it's on, you know, any of our devices that we want and I watch it on the HP and then, um, so I said, well, what do you, what's the first thing you want? I said, here's the, here's the scroll button. You can scroll through. I just kind of gave him a little run through on the Netflix. <laughs> he could have figured it out himself, but I, I just took the time to do it. Right. Cause I set it up. So I go downstairs, and what's the first thing he's watching on Netflix? The full first season, what's all? I think all the seasons are on there, of the original Star Trek from the 60s. Like, he has seen those a gazillion times. He goes, oh, no, but now it's got all the original. It's got added footage. I went, it doesn't have any added footage. What do you mean added footage? <laughs> So anyway, I guess I should use the eraser on that. Anyway, I said, what do you mean added footage? So he's been watching, which I'm sure he has those memorized. The, the, first, the first season of, I don't know if they're all on there or not on Netflix. And oh my gosh, I found, now this is what I found that I found the most interesting. Is I found the... Um, a show, it's a documentary called Abstract, called Abstract, oh, what is it called? I don't know. If you put in uh, in Netflix search, Abstract uh, Painting Documentary, because it's called Abstract Something. Okay, see, now I don't like this. I got this wing here, too. I'm going to have to put something back there, because that's, well, nobody would know it but me, but <laughs> this wing is too fat right here. This almost needs to be kind of, let's just make it smaller. Let's just make that wing smaller there. Uh, and, it, and it has all these, I think there's two seasons, and they're different artists, architects, a shoe designer. What else was there? There's all these different designers and different um, artists, and it's so good. Yeah, we watched all the Mad Men series. When, uh, yeah, I watched all that when it was out. We'd watch it every day, every week when it came out, Mad Men. Yeah. Um, okay, artist Noah Skellen, he created 600, 365 skulls one day a year. It's from his book. Oh, okay, that's a different, I think that's, I don't have the book in front of me. I could go in the other room in my, because, you know, I moved all, I moved all, well, I said all my art books out of here. I moved all the books that were on the floor in here into the new shelves in the other room. So I have two new shelves of art books in the other room because they were on the floor in here. Uh, so it would be in the other room. I'll have to go look and see which one, if it's the same one. Noah Scallon, Scalen. Hi, Judy. Oh, so anyway, 
I'm going to give you all any kind of updates on any art things that I've seen. Um, and you all know that I've watched on Sky Arts. It's a, it's a, v, a BBC Sky Arts show that comes out. They have Portrait Artist of the Year, Landscape Artist of the Year, and they have all these, you know, um, painting competitions out of the out of uh, UK. And well, this year, I guess, and because of the lockdown and you know all that business, um, they're doing. And I and I just got it notified because they, they just put it on YouTube. But apparently on Facebook, every Sunday on Facebook, they're doing a live show. Sky, just go follow Sky Arts. Go follow Sky Arts on Facebook. Or you can just look up um, Portrait Artist of the Week on YouTube and you'll find it. I think they're up to week three now. And I watched week one today. But there's week two, three. And so I guess this coming Sunday will be week four. And what they do now, instead of having the comp a competition amongst many artists, which is what they usually do, um, they're doing one, one person is doing a portrait live every Sunday. And then everybody, I don't know how they're doing it because I, I haven't seen the live one yet. Then everybody that wants to compete draws with them and you have three or four hours to draw. Then you submit it. And I, again, I don't know if you have to be in the UK. I don't know if it's a worldwide thing. I don't know. Because, I, again, I just watched the first recording this morning on YouTube. But look for Portrait Artist of the Week. So I don't know if, yeah, I love the show. It's the finalist. Okay. So anyway, it's it's really cool. If you like, uh, this, this wing needs to be... I'm just kind of talking to myself while I'm doing this. Um, I don't want to get this wing in here yet because I still have to do some underpainting there. But it's going to have, you know, highlighted streaks and stuff through it to make it look translucent like that. So now that this is so fat back there, fat, fat B there, I'm going to have to bring his wing down a little into the back side of him there. Something like that, I think. So anyway, drink a coffee. I've got my coffee here, Claire. <laughs> I got my coffee and my cranberry juice. I got both. And so they, uh, it, it's, it's just a, such a great show. And, you, and they have them on YouTube. So if you want to watch the previous seasons, you know, Landscape Artists of the Year, 17, 18, 19. I mean, there's years of them. And same thing for Portrait Artist of the Year you know, back few years. So, oh, be back. Got it. Okay. Be back. Uh, Devin. <laughs> Hi, Devin. And so, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Okay. So let's see what I want to do next. Um, what do I want to do next? Do I want to throw in some line RDB stuff? Do I want to do some shady? What do I want to do next? Because I want this to be fairly translucent. And it's going to have like, um, it's going to have, what do you call it, uh, lines in it. So let's see. Do I want to go in there with pencil maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go back into the face a little more. So anyway, that's that's what I discovered this morning, the newest stuff this morning. And then on Netflix, like I said, the Netflix show is um, abstract. Just put in abstract artist documentary and you'll find it. There's like two seasons. Very informative. Very. I just love I love watching artist documentaries. So let's steampunk him. <laughs> Put him in a little armor and stuff, little gears. <laughs> Not gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna. I'll let me wait. Let me. Hang on, I'm I'm gonna dig through here for just a second. But you could do this. You could take because <laughs> that made me think of it. But uh, hang on. 
I'm not going to show you. Uh oh, all my scrolls are rolling off on the floor. Some scissors here. But we, you could do something. Now, I'm not going to fussy cut because I don't want to take the time because I'm actually not going to do this on the bee. But I'm going to show you. Look, we could. But I want to draw other animals, so I'm not going to take the time. <laughs> but you could fussy cut out steampunk things. Steampunk things, like here's a big, uh, it looks like an air filter. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it could be like a bee helmet. <laughs> that looks much too much like an eye. Let's go this way. <laughs> See, it's so fun to have these collage books. I'm telling you. Oh, what? Oh, here's another little gear. Hang on. And I'm not really completely fussy. If you come, when you really fussy cut them out, guys, I'm telling you, when you fussy cut them out, it looks just, you can so easily incorporate these things into your uh, piece. <laughs> Here's some uh, more gears here. Just kind of. These are out of these. This could be his. That could be his little stinger. <laughs> uh, these are out of this book. Things to cut out and collage. <laughs> So you can play with that kind of thing, but I don't want to do that today because we've been doing collage a lot and I just kind of want to do um, painting today, but yeah. <laughs> okay, my vulture keeps rolling down here. Let's put him up. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's move that too. <laughs> that a little bucket okay let's see struggle the lot struggle the life and lost art of yeah that's one of them that i saw on that's not part of the abstract one but i did see that it is in my put it in my favorites julie topaz yeah i haven't watched it yet he's a sculptor yeah the struggle the life and art of i'm not gonna pronounce his name right Srul, uh it's s k u I mean, S-Z-U-K-A-L-Ski, S-K-I. And it's about a sculptor. But I, I have it in my favorites. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, let's see. Hang fluffy dice from him. <laughs> I know. We can make some funny characters. I know, guys. We can make some funny characters. All right, let's just see what we want to maybe do. Um, let me get a couple pencils here. Why? Um, oops, let's not knock that over. That would take a while to pick up all those pencils. <laughs> and let's see, let's get them. Oh. So we can do some shading. We could do it with pencil. I could get in here with uh, paint too, with a liner brush. I'm just going to go in here with. Let's go in here with some pencil because I want to go on to some other animals. This was my warm up. <laughs> this was my warm up. So, again, I could be doing this part with paint and shading, and I still might go back in there, but I just kind of wanted to get some bee fur going in here. And I could also go in here with my um, needed eraser and get some, get rid of some of the uh, chalk marks. You want to make sure your paint's dry, though, before you do this. Get rid of your chalk marks, you know. There we go. Let's see. Hi, Robin. I know people have popped in. Yeah, oh, Julie says you're a sculptor painter, created his own alphabet. Oh, makes book books works lost in World War II. Oh, that sounds really good. His books were lost. And I know they discovered them or something, right? That I read the little encapsulation thing, um, Julie. Yeah, I, I got it in my favorites. I do. 
Okay, so now let's get this little eye looking really real here. And because this is acrylic paint, the pencils go right on top of it, right? So we'll do a little bit of highlighting. This, where's my black? A little bit narrower. And then the same thing for his mandible, mandibles, mandibles. Doing some highlights on that. make them real creepy and benty and you know <laughs> he was interviewed in the 70s or early 80s okay yeah it looked it looked really interesting i'm really looking forward to that one julie okay so let's do a little his legs here <clears throat> well, I'll, I'll ask y'all what y'all want to draw next I hope y'all sketch or draw you know if you have your sketchbooks or whatever with you and you know play not you necessarily have to do a B but you know just be sketching and drawing and doing something you, you want to always be doing something Let's see. I think I'll go ahead and do just a little bit of blue in there. Maybe a little bit of black. You could probably see translucent. You'd see a little bit in there. But it's pretty translucent and covers up. A sharpen. You like the you like the bee, Nana. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You gotta you see. You gotta start with the base. You have to have something to work on top of. You know, a, a, acrylic especially. So acrylic, you go dark to light. With watercolor, it's light to dark. And then mixed media. You know, we can do anything, <laughs> anything the heck we want, right? <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to throw in some highlighted blue in his fur, bee fur, and then I can uh, go in and add more uh, black if I need to. But I'm just kind of giving him some giving him some highlights in his fur. Same thing in here because his wing is going to have detail kind of over the top, so it's not going to see a lot of it. So let's put a little bit of blue in there. And blue is also good for highlights in, in any animal eye. Um, cats kind of are a little, sometimes a little different, but um, dogs, you know, animal eyes, you, it's um, blue is good, like a slate blue. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, I'm going here with some black. Where's my black? There it is. <laughs> um, let's see. 
And also, guys, pan pastels. Now, I wouldn't probably use pan pastels on this because, you know, they're expensive and, you know, I want to use them on, like, finished pieces. But you could go from this to a pan pastel drawing with of a B. This could be, you know, this would be your sketch, right? Color, you know, work out what colors you want in it and all that. And then if you're thinking of, here's another idea, like you could add this to your society idea collector notebook. So while you're doing this and you're sketching, and this is just, you know, again, loose play on big, you know, practically free paper. Then you could write around here, write your ideas down, you know, or if you it comes, something comes up or if you just say, oh, you know, I really like the idea of doing some brush lettering and describing a bee. Well, then you can just go in here and do... You know, write your write some brush lettering. You could put, you know, to be or not to be. You know, you can write notes to yourself. Um, whatever, you know, describing if you if you're doing any kind of research on a bee or honeybee, you know, you could do that. You could take here, I'll stop here a minute. Let me get my I have my hand carved bee stamp here which I use on a lot of my happy mail. So it's like sitting right here. But we could have, we can have some bees flying around. Let's have one coming this way. You know, gotta have three at least. So maybe there's one over there. So you can just do anything. If you had to choose between a set of pan pastels what would you go for? Well, because I like to use them mostly in portraits, I'd have to go with the portrait set to start with. The portrait set, I think it's either called portrait or skin set. I forget what it's called. Um, and there may be two different ones, but I would go with some kind of a skin set uh, with all like from real like white to dark, dark brown and all, you know, like I think there's like eight in the set. Is it eight, maybe 12? I don't remember. Um, I would, I, that's what I would do. I would start with a skin set. Okay, so let's go back. I got to sharpen again. I'm right over my trash can here. But if you're going to be doing landscapes, florals, I think there's a landscape set, a floral set. So it depends on what you, um, what you want to, uh, do, what, what kind of things you're creating, right? as to which uh, pan pastel set to get. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna think about these wings. Do I wanna paint them? Do I want to draw them? Do I want to do? They're kind of almost like stained glass window type things. And I'm not really trying to do it anatomically correct. Entomology, uh, entomology correct? Entomologist correct? I'm just putting them in. <laughs> right. I'm just going to put it in some. I'm going to sharpen again. <clears throat> just some little lines and things. And then I can smudge them with some paint if I need to. I almost could use it like kind of like almost like a little bit of. I think dark yellow. Let's see, almost make it like a green color. Just to have a little bit of color in those wings. Just so they're a little not uh, so harsh lines. And we can also go in there and highlight a little bit better. See, 
me get a thinner brush. All right, what else is going on in chat? Um, they are, yes, they're not cheap. Pan pastels are not cheap. But I can tell you this, you, and unless you use them like every day of your life, you are not going to run out. <laughs> you, you will not run out. Pan pastels are so concentrated. They're so concentrated. So, and if you really think about it, the price of one pan pastel is about the same as one Copic. They're like five to six dollars a color. Of course, if you're, you know, international, it might be a little different. I'm not sure. But um, they're not, they're about the same you'd pay for a Copic. Y'all try to keep it positive, guys. I know we have a lot of bad news going on in the world. So I try to keep the negativity over on Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> Instagram is pretty much, I don't talk on Instagram. I don't talk on Instagram. I just post art and follow artists on Instagram. Instagram's kind of like my happy place. <laughs> Instagram's kind of my happy place for um, art. And that's pretty much all I do on Instagram. I mean, once in a while I'll post a cat picture, but for the most part, I only follow artists, photographers, creatives on Instagram. Um, you know, if I have, if I want to post news articles and stuff like that, it's usually Facebook. Um, I don't argue, try not to argue too much, but if I argue, that's going to be on Twitter. <laughs> Um, I, I, the, the metallic pan pastels, unless you really have a specific thing for them, Devin would be the last set I would buy. Pan pastels would be, uh, I mean, metallic. See, I need this to be longer. I really want this to be like, a, almost like pan, uh, pan pastel. I mean, um, metallic pan pastels. You really have to have a purpose for them, you know? So anyway, there, there we go. I, I, I don't want to take too long on this. Um, maybe we'll have, uh, let me go, let me do a little bit here. I'm just going to black. So I'm just going to do a little bit of fuzzy bits. Here. I need just, this is starting to dry. So I'm going to put just a tiny, just a little bit of water here just to wet this down. Because I'm almost going to do it like a liner. And I'm going to do, I could get out a liner brush. It might be quicker because I can flick. I can flick the liner brush. And I don't even know if y'all can see that there. But just on the edges of the B. I just don't find I I don't use the the metallics that much, but it depends on what you're doing, you know. Depends on what you're gonna do. Oh, thank you. It looks fluffy. Thank you, Kimberly. Again, just a little bit more water. Because these, these have been sitting here since before I started streaming. So. I'll just kind of go around the edges here. If I'm getting off camera. Are we getting in? Is it lighting okay, guys? So I'd want all this to be really. You know, it would be cute on this to have a little tiny barber or hairdresser with scissors, like a little tiny person about that big, trimming the hairs, <laughs> or a little razor, like a little razor blade. <laughs> A little, um, you know, a little barber or hairdresser trimming up the hairs of the bee. 
<laughs> so y'all, and when you can think of those kind of things, guys, write it down. Write it down because what I'm telling you is you will forget those cool, funny things. And then you're going to go back and go, oh, man, I had something really fun and funny to do. And I forgot what it was. No, nah, no, you didn't write it down, did you? <laughs> I always keep post-it notes next to me in my bedroom and everywhere. I got post-it notes. I live off of post-it notes. Post-it notes are your friend. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> like the texture. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. So let's just keep, you know, working it here for a couple more minutes. I did get a new book. I should show that to you, too. I showed it to Jan and I said, if, if you're out, pick this one up. It's so you. So, I actually bought it for my mom. So I'll show it to y'all. I don't know if mom's watching or not. Mom, if you're watching, I've got a book coming to you. And mom and I, you know, I told y'all we watch those Hallmark Mysteries every Sunday night. They haven't had a new one. They had one new one in the last month. It's like, come on, Hallmark. You know you're hoarding those video, I mean, those movies. You're hoarding them for when you can't make any more. <laughs> Give us our mysteries. Um, cause mom and I text each other. We text each other during, um, the, it's like our Sunday night thing, right? Mom's in her eighties. She doesn't mind me saying, I know she doesn't. And, um, uh, she's very techie. She's on Facebook and she does follow me on Twitter, but she doesn't really tweet. She just like, likes some of my tweets, but she doesn't tweet. She doesn't talk on Twitter. But um, we, me and Denise and mom, we text every day and keep in touch. And uh, then when um, the Hallmark Mysteries are on Sunday night, we'll go, what do you think about this one? Is this person suspicious? What about the, you know, so we text each other trying to solve the mysteries. Um, hi, Preppy Cap Crafty Girl. And oh my gosh, she has got some cool, if y'all have not followed Preppy, and I know she doesn't want me to do this every time she comes in, but she has new stuff in her Etsy shop, Preppy Crafty Girl. She has vintage things, vintage books. She has a new class thing. You buy the book, and she has like, I think she said five hours of class time that goes with just if you buy that book, her book. And I don't know how many she has. She may not have any left. Do you even have any left, um, Sister Woman Jonna? Sister Woman Jonna is Preppy Crafty Girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh, thanks, Cat and Pace. What a nice thing to say. What a nice thing to say, Cat and Pace. And if y'all see interesting names, or even if they're not interesting, but you know, like Cat and Pace or anything like you know, interesting names, y'all go follow them on, on YouTube. Go find them, ask them if they have Instagram. A lot of people don't have um videos, but they have um IG, and so you're gonna find some cool art. So follow each other, guys. It doesn't hurt to follow. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything to go follow. Now, if you go follow a Preppy Crafty Girl, it's going to cost you something because her her books and vintage stuff you're going to want to buy. Um, Ten left of the Hippie Boho Kit. Okay, so go at least go look it over, guys. Go over there and look at the Preppy Crafty Girl's Etsy shop. And you make these, um, you know, like journals and she gives you all the stuff now she doesn't send you the glue i mean you know come on but she gives you all the papers and stuff and then um and then she's got these uh, private classes that you can take the class on how to make it so at least go look at it because she makes some awesome vintage stuff i've i've bought a couple of her um before and her uh, vintage papers so yeah pretty crafty girl you like to do, you know. Yes, yeah, so I've got only got one book to show today. So, yeah. So let's see. We'll show it in a minute. Let's see. What else do I need? I got that little fuzzy feet. <laughs> I've really fuzzed him out, haven't I? All right, let me clean this brush and then we'll put a little fuzz on the yellow too. It's, 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 this is kind of thick, which is good for the yellow because um, it's so translucent. 
So I'm going to put a little extra fuzz on the bee here. And guys, I'm just kind of flicking, just kind of flicking in a few more. Oh, I got to do his face. I still have, I didn't, I didn't fuzz up his face. Hang on, got to go back to the face. <laughs> I have to go back to the face here in a minute. So yeah, it's kind of a rainy, dreary day here today. I don't know that we're supposed to get more rain, but it's kind of dark in the studio that way. But I do have all my lamps. I've got five daylight bulb lamps around me. So nice bright lighting. My hand's probably halfway in the way, but okay, so we got the little fuzz going there. Claire said B needs a buzz cut. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I said, it needs a little tiny barber. And there's probably, I bet you there's one in that book. A little bar barber. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let's put in a couple highlighted. It. Let's just put in a couple little, just a couple little highlights here. Let's see. I don't want them too much. I just want a little bit. Just a few little highlights on his body. That's too, it's almost too much. I think the blue was probably enough. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back in my black here. Let's just do a little, little detail around his face. Something like that. <laughs> we could put a little bit of um, a little bit of highlights on his lit feet if we need to, but I, I don't know. I kind of like it like it is. I think it's pretty good. I forever record. Did, did it hail at your house a few days? No, uh, uh, no. Did we had a storm come through, but it kind of missed us, Shelly. I, you might have got the brunt of it up no, up north, but I didn't get the I didn't get a we didn't have tornado warnings or anything. Okay, so I think the last thing I might want to do maybe some splatters. Let's put a little bee splatter, and I could put the honeycomb too. You know, I could put honeycomb. But I'm not. I'm not going to take the time. We're just going to do a little bit of bee splatter. Could be like pollen, <laughs> bee pollen. Okay, I think we're done. There we go. There's our little bee. <laughs> okay, let me hit it with the heat gun so I can take it off the table. Thank you. Thank you, Nanamo. Okay, so now. I'm gonna. I got my little pad in one hand, my heat gun in the other. Was my uh, got my pen here. So now, tell me some things. You'd like. I'll start making a little list. Uh, what should we draw next? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's beautiful. Thank you, Tori. I got to draw, draw all these little pollen specks. I'll hold it up to the camera here in a minute. Okay, we have dragonfly, a ferret. I don't really want to draw a dog because I just drew a dog like a couple weeks ago. So not a dog. A moth. All right, so far the ferret is catching my eye. Okay, someone said a horse. A lobster. I like a lobster. That sounds good. I'm kind of liking the lobster. Anteater. I'm writing down while I'm spinning this thing around. Okay. Anteater. Okay, let's keep saying. Um, we did a rooster, too, not too long ago. If y'all missed it. See, I did a print. A rooster was a print that I did um, for my subbies a couple months ago. Was it two months ago? Well, I, I made the print of it. So we did this drippy rooster. We did that a couple, well, I don't know how long ago we drew it, but we, we that was the print for a couple months ago. Let's see, what else? A Dracula parrot. parrot. That's something we would do at Halloween. Yeah, we've done uh, Dracula, turtle. We did, um, do, do y'all, should I pull out some of those again? Or y'all, have y'all seen them enough times? Some of our other, our other ones. Okay, so I think what I'm going, right now it's looking like a lobster and a ferret. Those two are catching my um, attention right now. Okay, so let's see. And this might still be a little wet, like that bee there. Okay, so... All right, so I'll hold it up so you can see a little bit more of the detail. <laughs> Instead of detail, we got some detail. Detail. So there's the B there. Yeah. Yeah, rabbit trail. <laughs> I've done an otter. I've actually, uh, an otter that I did was published on top of a, a magazine. Do I have, where is that? Ah, I see it. Hang on. Let me get you. Hubster put it on a big poster board for me. And I don't even know if this magazine, it's called um, Heart, H-E, capital A, capital R-T, Heart Journal Magazine. And it was a, uh, now this is going to be kind of, uh, pixelated because Hubster blew it up, right? I mean, you made a poster out of it. But in March 2016, we did this otter. This was off. This was the cover of the magazine, and my uh, space Odyssey, which Lisa is the one that named it, space Odyssey. So this was off of the. Um, this was off of the, my uh, the edition that I was in, and there's my space Odyssey, and it's on a like a foam board. <laughs> okay, so let me stick that back in there. Ugh. All right. Um, okay, hang on. Let me go over here. Move the fan out of the way. And I know I just showed these not too long ago, so I'm going to flip. I won't show everyone. I'll flip through them kind of quickly. These are some of the animals we've done on the show. Let me make a space here. Move pencils, pens. So, um, I won't go through all of them, but I'll flip it. Now, these three right here, these are not on the, these were not on, uh, the scroll but these were some ink drawings that i did for um and they're just on like copy paper i just did them for uh the show and they you know we didn't really do anything with these are from 2016 these were christmas critters from 2016 and then here is our hanukkah camel so we did that here's our christmas kitty a little dog and our little squirrel so these are just in there because of the size. I don't know why else they're in there. Or maybe because they're animals. 
So I'm just going to flip through. I'm not going to go through every one. I'm just going to kind of pick real quick here. I'm just going to go through. And again, at the time that we did these, they were on the big scroll, right? They're on the big scroll. But we, I've, caught, I've chopped them down. <laughs> and there's more of the uh, peacock in other places. Here's uh, one of our uh, pandas, fish. And these are, and they're all, you know, most of them were done on our live show. Um, oh, thank you, preppy crafty girl. Yeah, the otter is from, I have a big poster of the otter. It's on one of my collage posters. It's a huge poster like my lemurs and my, uh, um, you know, my other big poster collage animals. They're on that. Okay. So here's what I'm talking about. Like our Halloween, like here's count Pugula. <laughs> this was a Halloween thing. And see, he's got glitter in his eyes and glitter on his cape. So this is the kind of things we do at Halloween. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. So I'll flip through. So these are some of our, and this is sometimes when we get funny and we get crazy. So here's some uh, studies of the blue frog with open toed shoes. Or we call them frog flops. <laughs> so we get crazy sometimes. And this is just, uh, you know, sketched out with the Connie crayon, added in some acrylic paint, and we just laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> oh, so anyway. Oh, and then here's Pedro. I won't go into why we named him Pedro, but this is Pedro the octopus here. Yeah, so again, I've cut them out of the scroll because they were too big. The It's too hard to get to the scroll. Here's another one of our Halloween. This is our um, squirrel mummy with the toilet paper, which seems like kind of apropos to these days, right? Is, it, is anybody else having, we're not having, we already had toilet paper, so it, it wasn't an issue. But is anybody still having trouble finding toilet paper? But anyway, this was our um, mummy squirrel one year this was 2017 this was a uh, 2017 halloween and then we just saw all kinds of different things here there's a sea turtle again i'm not going to go through every single thing but there's some more of our um studies of the peacock who that he did not defeat me <laughs> a rona squirrel oh my gosh that's perfect julie a Rona squirrel. We, gotta, we might have to do something with that. Rona squirrel. I'm pulling it, Julie. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Probably I have TV, but the stores are still out there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So um, I see all these commercials on TV, Charmin commercials. We're doing our best to restock you. We're making more Charmin. I don't know. Are they? <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. There's some more of the peacock here. There's some more uh, sea turtle sketches. Did, a, did the big uh, face there of that one. But this is what they start out as. They're just sketches with a uh, white uh, Conti crayon. Because Conti Crayon's not, it's chalky, but it's not too chalky. Here's one of the deers. Here's some sea, I mean, uh, starfish. Okay, so here's another one of our, <laughs> this was one of our Halloween creatures, characters. So he's a little Dracula, and he's got bat wings, and yeah, and he's got a pumpkin. Because this was, you know, at Halloween, we do all these crazy things at Halloween and Christmas. We do all these funny special things on those uh, holidays. I want well, it has Charmin, but few other brands. Okay. The squirrel needs a closet full of toilet paper. That's good. That's good, Preppy. Yeah. A whole roll of thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe it's kind of like, kind of, I should, that would have been something good to do about a month ago, maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to pull it. Okay. So, so here's what somebody was asking. Who was asking about the hummingbirds? Here's some hummingbirds. Who was asking? We did these in 2015. See, we've been doing this scroll for a while. This is from 2015. <clears throat> it might have been the first year that we did the art scroll. So, um, 
I didn't like the Dracula dirt at all. Candy corn pumpkin. Yeah, Julie M. So whoever was asking about the um, about the hummingbirds. So yeah, so this is some we did. It's kind of hard to see the detail. So yeah, it does want to flash out. What else? Okay. Um, oh, oh, I love this one. We did this one uh, uh, maybe about six months ago. The sugar gliders. I love the sugar gliders. <laughs> so we did these. We did a little. We didn't get, you know, we didn't get them completely fin finished with detail. We did him kind of a lot more detail. But anyway, the sugar gliders. These were fun. Hide the TP in a coffin. See y'all? Write these ideas down. Next Halloween, we will have a blast. <laughs> Oh, okay. Not Hummer. I'm over hummingbird as a moth. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do another one. I'm not going to do the ones we've already done here, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some sugar gliders. And then just some random shells here. Let's see. Some random seahorse. And I've got tons of just sketches. I'm not going to pull out all those. Let's not pull out all these sketches. Those are just going to go down on the ground there. Let me see. Trying to find things that we've actually, the animals, you know, we've done other things, other tests and stamping and lettering and giant calligraphy. We did big calligraphy, but I'm just trying to find some of the animals. Some of this is other stuff that we tested, you know, big lettering and stuff. I'm not going to go through every one of those. Let's see. Okay, oh, here's some more Christmas ones. Okay, so now what we did with these animals, here's a big Christmas rhino. There's holes in these, right? Because what we did is we put Christmas lights. From back, I poked holes in it and put Christmas lights in our animals. So this one, <laughs> here's our Christmas rhino. Oh, I've done lots of sloths, Regno, lots of sloths. Um, let me show you my poster real quick. Here's my sloth. I have a peace sloth. I swear one of these days I'll make a print out of this one. Where's my peace sloth here? Now let me pull my lemurs and my peace. Okay, here we go. So here's my peace sloth poster. <laughs> So there's my sloth right there. And uh, yeah, my hippie sloth with his guitar. So there's the sloth. And then here's one big poster I did of lemurs. So there's some lemurs. And I also have another one that's called the lemur has landed. And that the lemur has landed one is the one that I use for my header in my YouTube and everywhere. And so, <laughs> this is uh, my painted um, uh, lemurs. And I do have that other lemur poster, but I, you know, I try to keep things handy to show you guys, but sometimes you get lost in the shuffle. I'm not sure where my lemur is. <clears throat> now I'm not seeing my lemur right now, so. The other lemur. Okay, so let's see here. And then after the show, I gotta put all this away. Oh, oh, okay. This is one of my favorites too. Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> if y'all remember the old Drew Carey show and his secretary Mimi, we named this after Mimi. So there's Mimi. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Julie. Yeah, well, we do that a lot. And I know most of the regulars here say, I've seen these a thousand times. But anyway, there's Mimi. She has her pearl earrings. She's got her red painted nails. She has an alligator bag. <laughs> her blue eyeshadow. So anyway. Okay, so here's another one that is, this was supposed to be a Frankenstein giraffe. But he turned out to look like Mo from the Three Stooges. 
Instead of a Frankenstein drum, he still got scars and electricity and all that. But it looks like Mo. The Mo for the three stooges. <laughs> oh, let me see. Here. Okay, here's some some slow lorries. So we did a little study of some slow lorries there. Let me get the lighting there back there. And then just here's some more. This was our ornithologist. And just some quick sketches of different birds and, and ideas. And there's a cardinal wearing uh, slippers. Um, okay, this is another one of our Christmas ones. This was our Christmas monkey with the ugly sweater contest. And it's got holes all in it because, again, we put Christmas lights coming through. Poked, poked, poked Christmas lights through. We have fun on the holidays around here, people. I don't know what this huge thing is. What's this big thing? Oh, here's another rooster. This one's this one's massive. I can't even get it under there. This is another big rooster right there, standing on top of a chicken. I can't even get it all under there. It's so big. But there's a rooster standing on top of a chicken. Here's a little um, hedgehog. Was this a porcupine or was this a hedgehog? Um, Little owl. Here's another one of the Christmas. This was our Christmas moose again with holes punched in it for Christmas lights to poke through. I think that's about all the animals. Oh, here's a little fish. Some more calligraphy. Oh, there's a little tree frog. Some more dogs here. Let's see what's this one. Some more dogs. So he started to draw a chihuahua. This was too big. This one was too not right. So we drew it again the third time. So third time we got the chihuahua. Oh, let's see. There's another deer with uh, antlers that have Christmas lights in it. And let's see. I think that's about it, guys. The rest of this looks like calligraphy. All right. So let's move this big stack down with a B. And what was this stuff? No, this was another project. Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's get another piece of paper. Let's cut down another piece of paper here. rolled onto the floor. Hang on. That is the only thing about this is you got to tape it down because it does um, curl. It is going to curl. Alright. So what did I decide on? Oh, a lobster. <laughs> Let me find some, let me find a couple reference materials of some lobster. Okay, that's, I might need some more tape here. The sticky's kind of gone. All right, let's see. Lobsters. Hi, Cindy. Julie M. making your whole... <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're having fun. Okay, images, lobsters. Oh, that's a good one. I don't want one cooked. I want one... Oh, here's one with feet. I kind of like that one. It has a lot of... Uh... No, that's something else. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a lobster, but it doesn't have the big claw. I want the ones with the claw. Got to find lobster ones with claws on them. Uh, but I don't want one that looks like it's been cooked. You know what I mean? I want one that looks like it's um, still alive. That one's kind of curled up. Let's see. Um, let's see. That one's kind of... 
dead looking. That one you can see the tail, but hmm. I don't want one just flat. You know what I mean? I want one like it looks like you're looking at it, looking at its face with the claws, or maybe we could do a couple studies. We'll do like one looking at you. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Here's one with the whole body. Let's see. So we'll maybe we'll do a couple. We'll do some studies. I want the tail, though. I want one that you can see the tail. All of them look like they're curled up. You know? Curled up tail. And if I put in lobster tail, then that's all we're going to get. We're going to get a cooked lobster tail. I don't want that. Let's see. So we're going to do a few different ones. Hmm, I need a lot. Well, let me put in lobster tail and see what we get. <laughs> we all need to sing rock lobster. <laughs> see, I told you, I'm getting all kinds of cooked ones. Let me put in, wait for it, I'm going to put in live lobster live lobster tail because it's giving me all these recipes i don't want that let's see oh here we go all righty now we're now we're cooking <laughs> uh, metaphorically speaking oh let's see mm. i guess that's still the best one let's save that what else do we got here <clears throat> I don't know. I like that one that's like coming right at us. All right, let's go over there. All right, we're gonna go. With, we're gonna roll with that one. I think I'm gonna start with this one that's coming right at me. <laughs> it almost looks like Predator. I bet that's where they got the idea for Predator. Let me get my point here. Um, I'll zoom in a little. I bet that's where they got the idea from Predator. Have you seen its mouth? Have you seen a lobster mouth? Just saying. Oh, <laughs> uh, lobster color. Okay, well, I'm going to do this big one. I'm going to do this big lobster um, coming right at you. It's going to look creepy. It's going to look a little creepy, but we can do what we don't have to have them that creepy. But all right, so let's see. Let's see if this is here. It almost looks like he has cheeks. But when you do a study like this, you really notice things. You really notice things a lot, you know? I really do. And again, I'm kind of using my own interpretation, you know? Not following every like jot and tittle. <laughs> Y'all know what that means. Um, I need to get into painting and drawing. Well, get a sketchbook. Just get out a sketchbook and you're you can start. Okay, so his eyes are real close together. He almost looks like he has a little. Have I drawn this lobster? I think I've drawn a similar one before. So he's like kind of like this. His eyes are real close set. And then he's got all these feelers. He's got all these. I don't know how many. There's a lot of them. <laughs> All right, let's see. But it kind of looks like the predator in his face. You know, if y'all have seen that movie, The Predator. Okay, there's our sketch. This one comes around. This way's pointy. That's pointy there. I'm going to make this more pointy. Something like that. This can be rounder. He's got like a 
joint of a of an elbow kind of thing there. And he's kind of pointy and got all this other stuff. Got all these like little um uh little horn things, you know, little nubbies, nubby stuff. Okay. So he's coming like right at you. And they're just kind of indes indescribable stuff inside down in here, part of his body in there you can't really see. Okay. There's our sketch. Now we're too close, aren't we? I need to back up one. That's probably better. All right, let's see. Are we still here, guys? Is my chat froze? Please tell me it's not. Attack of the Killer Lobster. Now, you told me to hear me sing, Devin. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> Attack of the Killer Lobster. All right, so let's see. Now. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. <laughs> I got a sip of juice here. All right. Move the scissors out of the way. Whoops. Okay, now let's see. We'll get some kind of a peachy coral color. I need a couple like corally colors. Let's see here. Oh, uh, well, before I start this, let me show you the book I was talking about. Oh, and then also, you know, we haven't done any art cards lately. Y'all know I usually do art cards three by four. I mean, yeah, three by four. And ATCs are two and a half by three and a half, the same size as playing cards. Well, when I was at Books a Million the other day, I passed by the spinner rack of cards. They have all kinds of cards, game cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, all kinds of cards. And they have regular bicycle playing cards. So I picked up these two decks because I'm going to use them for ATC, you know, art cards. If y'all, let me see. Let me grab a couple. Now, my, my artist trading cards, let's see, I've got a couple of them up here, are a little bigger than ATCs. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half, same size as playing cards. But these are the kind of things that I'm, the little art cards that I make. They're just little collage cards, right? And I usually just paint them black on the back and sign them. Like this one's from 2015. I keep a few of them just for samples. So these are some of my little art cards that uh, I paint on the show. And then when I paint them, I give them away. Uh, these are just the, the ones that I keep for samples. <clears throat> so I thought I would go ahead and make some, make some uh, art cards with these as the backs. So this is steampunk on the back. They're regular playing cards, but look, it has a steampunk like theme on the back. So I think that would be cool to make some art cards out of these. They're smaller. They're ATC size. And then these are the Stargazer ones. And they're, they have, they're, the cards themselves are really pretty. But the backs, look. No, there's the joke. There we go. See, look at the backs. Wouldn't those be pretty for the collage? So I think I'm going to do these first. Because, you know, I do a lot of this collage, their outer space sci-fi theme. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let's do that again. Looks like a lobster tail. <laughs> so I picked those up at uh, Books A Million. And then the uh, book that I wanted to show y'all, though, was this one. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I got it for mom, but I showed it to Janet. And because it's a watercolor flower book, she's she's going to probably find it at her Hobby Lobby. But um, it's it's a beautiful book. And normally at the bookstores, it's $29.99. But at Hobby Lobby, it was $14.99. Not with the coupon, just that was their discounted uh, book price. So it's a hardback. It's really beautiful. It's by um, Ruth Chow Simmons and or Simons. And it's the art of everyday worship, beholding and becoming. And it's all watercolor. Um, it's all watercolor art. So I got this. Let me see. I don't want to put get chalk on it. Um, it's all different watercolor. And um, look, we become what we behold. But isn't it beautiful? Look at this. 
So I got it for mom. Beholding God's greatness and creation and lots of calligraphy and brush lettering. And isn't it just beautiful? I just loved it. So, yeah. So I showed it to Janet. And, you know, Janet's been doing a lot of watercolor. And she does lettering sometimes, too. So I thought, um, and there's no reason. I didn't get it for a gift for any reason. I just thought mom would like it. So I don't know if mom's watching. But, mom, if you're watching, this book's coming to you. Look, bees. Little watercolor bees. So I'm just going to kind of do a flip here just so you can kind of see. And there's the there's the artist author. And uh, look, there's some koi fish. Let's see, I need to kind of. But it's just a beautiful book of all watercolor. And. Uh, Isn't it beautiful, guys? I know, isn't it? And I'm probably not showing it very good. I really don't want to set it down on that chalk, but I can't keep flipping without setting it down. So it's just so much pretty lettering, too. I love the lettering. But her watercolors, look at this. Her watercolors are beautiful. It might be on Amazon, too. I didn't look. So... More little bees. It's just such a pretty book. So if y'all like watercolor, lettering, combining watercolor and lettering, it's just so pretty. Oh, what was that bright one in there? Butterfly. Look at this one. So, yeah. What's that? And it has a bookmark. So, yeah, I thought I'd share that. That's going to my mommy. <laughs> All right. Let's, this is coming untaped. All right. So now back to the lobster. Let me put these art cards back up here out of the way. All right. I'm looking for some <clears throat> coral color. I want this color. This is um, terra coral, and maybe a little sienna, or maybe those two colors. Probably be good. All right, let me get another tray because I don't want to get in the tray that has all the yellow in it. Right. All right. So this one's dry. So we'll put out a little, a little bit of paint here. So it's almost done. It's like a sienna color. And then this coral color. And I got, oh, that black looks pretty dried out. Maybe I need a dark brown. Let's see here. Let's see what color here. Rookwood red. That's good. Maybe a dark one. Leaning in here. Okay. Um, Burn umber, and this one, these, this one hasn't even been opened yet. Let's go ahead and open both these. Rookwood red and burnt umber. I, they're my. I'm, they had a sale. Um, they were all they were all all the paints were thirty percent off, so I stocked up on a few extra colors. And these two are two of them, and I haven't opened them yet. So let's open it. And you can just use craft paint. You know, the reason I like. Um, just Americana craft paint, not satin, not gloss, not metallic for this, for drawing and painting on is because they're matte and you can do pencil on top. If it's, if you get a, uh, like an artist grade to paint, a lot of them are the, the binder is shiny and you can't get your, uh, pencil over the top of that. Oh, I hope so, Devin. Yeah. Just, you know, She's ourself now with her little Mandy, so I like to, you know, and me and Denise, we text her every day. We talk, you know, we text every day. We don't we don't let her sit down over there in Texas and get lonely. Okay, so there we go. Maybe just a touch of black for the eyes. Put a little bit there. Okay, so those are colors we're going to use. All right, let's move those pencils out of the way. 
I got my big scruffy brush again. See, it's just a scruffy brush. Now, when I do the eyes, let's get a, let's just go ahead and put in the eyes here. And we'll put more detail with pencil or whatever, but we can put them in. Let's just get up. A little highlight for a minute. Clean my brushes as we go. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anything else going in, on in chat? If I've missed saying hi to anybody. I know, isn't it pretty, Julie? Yeah. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Let's go ahead and start with some of this dark brown and just kind of scruff it in up under his little feelers, if you will. And I, I don't know what they're all called. And he's got this and he's got a little bit of... Just something going on up under here. This is almost, it's almost too coral. It almost needs to be a little bit more sienna color. I don't know if he needs to be that that uh, pink. Might be a little too pink. Mm. It almost has, needs a little more orange to it. Let's throw in a little orange on this. Let's see. That's, that's too red. Let me go over here. Let's throw in a little shake shake here. Maybe a little bit of uh, spice pumpkin. I think those two colors might be closer to what I'm looking for. Is it? Is that going to be better? Maybe. And this red, red, what is it? Rookery red? What would I call it? Rook, rookwood red. Mm -hmm. It's a little better. So there's all this stuff going on up underneath his chin there. We'll get in there with more detail later. But, you know, lobsters are kind of ugly, you know. They're kind of ugly up under there. <laughs> it's kind of like the predator, I'm telling you. All right, so let's just base coat it in first. Let's go with, um, let's go with this red color. Let's go with that red color. And a little bit of that orange in there, they can kind of mix. Because the, the lobster has got, a, you know, it's all kinds of shades of the pink, the red, the coral colors. <laughs> all right, so let's, see. let's do this a little further down here. This is the one that's behind that one. Pick up a little black there. And then let's go over here to this and this. And we'll just get it base coated in. But we'll add some fun little spiky bits and detail and stuff like that in there. We'll have black back in the back there. She can't really see, or dark brown. She can't really see what's going on back there. There's this other claw behind this claw, this claw here. I don't know how interesting this one's going to be. It's kind of, I don't know. We have to add some creepiness to them or something. You know, like the predator. <laughs> Some extra. And I am using kind of a smaller brush for this. I could have get a bigger brush out, but that's okay. We'll make him kind of. We'll give him some texture, some speckles. Some. Let's get his. Remember, he's coming straight at you. And then back in here, let's see here. 
we'll just kind of scruff in some stuff for now. We're going to put some spikes and whatnot back in there. I'm, I'm just talking out loud, guys, how we might want to do it. <laughs> All right, let's go back over on this side here. Everything okay in chat? Do we lose everybody by doing a lobster? <laughs> Did everybody go out for lunch? <laughs> Is everybody going out for lunch? <laughs> oh my God. Give him things. Yeah. Yeah. He does have, well, he has these feeler things kind of coming out of his mouth. So that's probably what we're going to roll with there. With garlic. <laughs> we'll do something fun with them. But I hope y'all just having some fun, some inspiration, some, you know, some ideas and just play. I have a new idea for Society Idea Collectors. And I kind of, I ran it by uh, Janet. I'll probably run it by Pocola too. And then let y'all know. How's it looking there? <laughs> Uh, everyone want to melt some butter? I know it would be, you know, it'd be kind of cool to take a picture of him with some little butter, some little sliced butter, you know, you know, somebody will, somebody will gripe about it. Oh my God. Uh, you can hear, can't y'all hear it now? I can. But that would be a, a cool photo, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be a cool photo? This with butter slices. <laughs> <laughs> by the pound he will be expensive yeah oh my gosh you guys crack me up all right so let's see here so he's gonna have he has these like little cheek things here he almost has cheeks but I'm gonna put fang-like things, just kind of like, uh, kind of like the predator, but not. You know, I don't know if that's. It just looks so predator-esque. Predator-esque. <laughs> now I'm just using the same big scruffy brush, just to kind of sketch them in here. It makes it so it's not so, if you use something like this, it makes it so you're not so precious with it and you, you, you have a little bit more looseness to it than if you're trying to do, um, you know, some kind of a portrait or something.
He almost looks that, like he has eyebrows when I put that there. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what? Instead of instead of lobster feelers or whatever, you know, I don't know what that's called on their mouth. But instead of that, look what we'll do. We'll make it like a mustache. We'll make it like a mustache. <laughs> French, yes, French lobster. Although Poirot was not French, was he? Poirot was, what was Poirot? Belgian, he was Belgian. <laughs> and the white chalk, you know, we can make that, uh, we erase that after the paint dries. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength, Devin. Yeah. Ooh la la. <laughs> At little gray cells. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, do we need to put let let me look up Poirot. What kind of hat did he have? <laughs> did he have a bowler? What kind of hat did he have? Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, he well, he wore different kind of hats, but he did have the... Now, his mustache wasn't like this, though. His mustache was, you know, a little tiny one curled, and it was curled up. But we could put a little hat on the our... Um, do you want to put a little hat on our lobster? I need a little coloring. Put a little highlight. Let's see. <laughs> I want to kind of go around his head. see really a band they're more i think the hat is more gray let's put a little bit of gray in that let's gray that up we'll just leave that kind of flat for now until we can come back to it let's see now let me go back over here let's get a side of his face back You guys, look what you make me do. <laughs> yeah, no, it, oh, it, Poirot didn't wear berets. He wore bowlers. Right. So, and I'll fix this up better when we um, add some highlights to it. Something like this. And I'll put some highlights on there. Okay, let's leave that for now. But now I gotta figure out the face again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we got now we're gonna have to make it into a character and it's not gonna be very uh it's not gonna be very um uh, uh predator esque anymore now. <laughs> of 
could he be holding a magnifying glass? Well, I guess he could. I guess he could. But let's let's get the base. Let's ba get them blocked in and everything first before we get too crazy, <laughs> like we haven't already. Right? Okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead. <laughs> what should we name him the lobster perot <laughs> oh let's see all right all right let me go back to the cleaner brush let's go ahead and dry it mm -hmm. But really, the locks has all these other things coming out. So we might have to have a few mustaches, like three or four mustaches. See, we could take a just take a picture after the after the fact after it's uh after we finish him. Then all we have to do is do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So seriously, wait, seriously. See how easy that is? <laughs> See how easy that is? We'll have to take a picture. Yeah, we'll take a picture like this. <laughs> a walking stick? I actually have a walking stick, but it's too big for this. I mean, to actually, you know, um, hang on. Because a walking stick would be way bigger than this. All right, so let's move that for now. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's get some. A bit of, oh, wait. Now let's go back to the black because I want to get that other. I want, because lobsters have multiple mustaches, I'm going to go ahead and put in two or three. I am going to put in two or three because that's how they do. They do have that. I should paint the rest at first. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back over here for brown. Too dark. Too dark. Hang on. Wait, let me get a. Hang on. I mean, because seriously, their mouths look like. Their mouths look like a predator. And I don't want, if I'm going to do like a Poirot lobster, we don't want it too predator. predator yeah, we don't want it to look, look too much like a predator. So let's let that dry and we'll go back under the lips there. We'll fix that up. I need the light back. I need the light back there. So we'll get back under, we'll get back under that chin in a minute. <laughs> That little mouth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, doesn't he have to while we're all have a little goatee again? Let me look. Doesn't he have a little goat? No, he just has the mustache. But he does have, he does have some major eyebrows. Free to ask. Now, a lobster, of course, doesn't, but you know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't know what we're doing, guys. We're just, y'all got me off on a real rabbit trail here. Let's go back over here. I need some lighter because I need some.
do these crazy little creatures. And then he's got the nose, though. It, I mean, it's like a little claw thing on the lobster. Oh, no. Don't make me do a Lena thing. <laughs> don't make me don't make me do a Lena. Is Lena still here? <laughs> Lena might be back at work. See, I'm going to have to cover up that cheek for a minute because i got to get those cheeks back in there. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. We don't even know where we're going now. Maybe we should have stuck with the B. Stuck with the B. Okay. Now let's go back in the black there. He has a happy little face, sort of. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's make his little eyes kind of like that. I'll get back in there with some shadows. And so I'll get in there with some pencil. Okay, let's go back into um, our red here, red and brown. Okay, so let's get some shadow right in here. No, I know Lena would be, I mean, I could see a full-on comic book character from Lena. Seriously, y'all have got to follow Lena on doing crazy characters. Crazy characters our Miss Lena can do. I'm going to get in here with some Posca and stuff, but right now I'm just got to get a base coat. I got to get that in there. So I'm just not... I, I so wanted to do fangs that it's hard for me to get out of that fang mode. It's because I was going to do these. Look. Have y'all seen Predator's Mouth? <laughs> I'm ready to ditch this one. I seriously am ready to ditch this one. Wait a minute. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, let's don't get paint on the phone. Look away if you don't want to see the Predator's Mouth. Look, this is where I was heading until we got into Poirot. This is where I was going. <laughs> Ellie, look at the cute little Poirot face. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. We're moving on. We're moving on. I'm not happy with it because he's too, he's just too cross-contaminated. Okay, seriously, I don't like it. We're moving on. We're moving on. That's why it's only paper. Okay, let's get. We'll have time to do one more something. <laughs> we cross contaminated our lobster. We're gonna do something else. <laughs> See, I told y'all you don't have to worry if you don't like something to start over. All right. Yeah, I have Predator in mind. And when we went Poirot, it, it lost me, guys. It just lost me. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can go for next. Maybe we will go back to a ferret. Do you want to do a ferret? Okay, let me get my camera back in the full. There we go. 
All right. Do we have time for a ferret? You vote a zombie. <laughs> we could do we could do a predator mouth, but then probably half of our people would leave. All right. Let's see. Let's do a ferret. Let me let me find. Let's find a cute little ferret. And some of them are white. Some of them are cream color. This is a kind of a cute color one. Let's see. Kind of like that color. Oh, that one's cute. They're all cute. Ferrets are cute. Maybe we'll do a couple of them. All right, I'm going to just roll with these two because I don't have too much time. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. All right, bye-bye, lobster. Bye-bye. All right, let's see. All right, so I think we're going to do one here and, like, one here. Where's my chalk? Okay, let's see if we can let's see if we can crank out a ferret or two. Because the lobster was a bust. Our um, predator lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Might just have them go off the page. Let's see. So I can give them a, a little bit more face in here. If we had another one, let's see here, coming off to the side, like one right over here, like a little little one down in here. Well, let's just stick with one because I don't want to rush. Let's just stick with one. Let's stick with one ferret. One ferret at a time. <laughs> one ferret at a time. We'll just do this one. All right, let's get in here. Do a little more paint out because that black paint's dried out. He wasn't a bust. He was, yeah, no. This just wasn't, wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling that lobster. <laughs> Let me see if I can get my camera up just a little there so I can get the whole thing in. I wasn't feeling it. Okay, so now I need a little bit of a tan color here. White tan, couple of tan colors. Mm. Again, I pick up a new one, so I gotta cut bust it open here. Yeah, I want to do a predator face lobster. See, I'm getting two ferrets soon. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. This is like a black and tan one. I'm just going to kind of take them down off the page here.
this, I mean, this is a, you know, um, one, there's so many multiple colors that you can do them in. They're all different colors. Tan and brown, black and with white. Some gray. And I'm just going to kind of make them my colors, whatever colors I want. It's kind of sitting there looking at you. I picked two. I picked two to look at, so... I need one smaller, a little bit smaller brush for the face here. <clears throat> it looks like he has like a mask. And his eyes are right in there. We're going to make this one kind of quick because I only got a little bit of time left here, guys. So. I've got some things i got to get done. That truck finally left across the street. <clears throat> and be quick. Can we get a ferret done in about ten minutes? A quick ferret. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me clean my brushes. Okay, let's see. I need a small brush. Where's my brush? All right, let's get a little bit of this pink. And a baby wipe there. So it's Alrighty, hang on guys, hang on, they'll block him in. It's kind of far away, I don't see as much detail as I'd like. Of course we'll put a little fur in there when I do the detail. Color. I'm not looking at chat, guys. Hang on. Let's get right up under his chin there. Quick little ferret. How are we doing on time? I mean, uh, chat. Oh, thanks, Mary. Yeah, you, did you miss the lobster? We had a um, predator, lo, uh, predator Poirot. <laughs> lobster fail, Mary. It was a lobster. <laughs> so I stuck him in the pot. <laughs> if y'all haven't been watching Mary, she's been doing some awesome dogs. Mary's been doing some awesome dogs. Uh, I, I don't think all of them are, but aren't some of them, Mary, um, your viewers' uh, dogs? Aren't you doing their viewers' dogs, Mary? See how quick I can get this in here. I'm gonna get a base coat on there. It's a chubby little thing.
do our little, we'll do a little abstract ferret because we don't run out of time. We're going to do them, uh, well, not really abstract, but kind of. Lobster is problem saying sometimes life is a ferret. Oh, brother, cat and face. Oh, my gosh. If I had time, I'd write that down. Remember that. I've got to write that in the, I've got to write that in the what you call it book, in the wingnut book. I need some more white. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's see. I need more white. We're going to roll this out quick, guys. I'm going to roll out a ferret real quick. Yet on the eyes. Let's wait on the eyes. Wait on that. See how abstract I want to make him. Looking at chat, guys. We're going to just kind of block this guy in. Do a quick ferret. No need blue there. Well, maybe not. Um, wing that book entry. <laughs> I'm just going to do this kind of impressionistic. Do kind of an impressionistic. Let's bring that up a little. Quick, 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 quick. Five minutes. Five minutes. I don't know that looks like a ferret. Oh my. <laughs> Is this Inky Well, I N K I W E L L, Inky Well, uh, or just Dee Dee Willingham? So now I want it to be kind of squared. 
I want them to be, I want them to be kind of squared off. Let me hit it with the heat gun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where's my brush? What's that brush? I was just using this one, maybe. So now I'm, I'm wanting them to be kind of just kind of impressionistic type thing now. And that's where I'm heading. It wasn't where I was starting to head, but time, 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 time. So I'm just kind of liking the way that fur, just kind of a little bit like that. I'm just liking that look. You know? I'm just kind of liking it. Well, I hope y'all had fun today. I did. I had fun. I liked our bee. I did like our bee. I didn't like our lobster. And this one just kind of took a quick turn for the quick. <laughs> you know, this one just took a little quick. All right, so I'm going to add one more thing. Hang on. Just go with the brush pen. And he's kind of in the distance, so maybe we'll make him. There's my watch. Them in the snow or something. Oops, don't want it on his face there. Nope, no eye, no eye shown. There we go. All right, we're going to roll with that, guys. We'll show you the B again. Oh, you're welcome, Cindy. I hope you all had fun. You made it back in time for the whiskers? Yeah. And, uh, well, let me let me dry them so I can move them because it's going to roll up once I take the um, tape off. So there's our quick ferret in the snow. Now let me show you the bee before we go. I hope you all enjoyed just playing in the art scroll. Let me back up. Well, what kind of, maybe I shouldn't have been so zoomed in. There we go. So there's our big bee. All right. Thanks, guys, for being here.
I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. It was just kind of random today. We probably need to do another color book page. We haven't done something very, um, uh, well, here, yeah, since we didn't, we didn't get to use our, <laughs> we didn't get to uh, use our little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> magnifying glass. There you go. <laughs> well, it's always fun to hang out with you guys. It's always fun to hang out, you know, with the fibs. Yeah. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Miss Mary Berry, Lauren, Karina, and Michelle. I know I miss people coming in. So thanks, everybody, for popping in. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>